Hello there. So today <clears throat> we're going to talk a little bit about training and injuries. Um, <clears throat> having recently torn my MCL, I, uh, I realized that, uh, you know, there is a process that you need to look at and I, I, uh, a regime you really need to follow when you're uh, starting training or even when you're in the middle of training. A lot of the time we tend to think, oh, our muscles are tired and, and you know, when you go back into training or starting a new regime, you think your muscles are, you know, sore, etc. But your ligaments and tendons take a lot longer to adapt, especially if you're over 35, to a new training method. So <clears throat> what do you do? Key thing is always to um, make sure that you have the right vitamins. There's um, things like Ligaplex that helps for tendons. Uh, so it is a, a vitamin, uh, as well as um, glucosamine chondroitin, which actually help the joints. You want to make sure that you, you're going back into training with the right tools behind you. So make sure that when you do go back into training, you don't start uh, working out too quickly. So by that, you know, everybody wants to get really, you know, uh, into training. Oh, I've got to get into training. Take your time. Take the first month or two to do like a couple of times a week. You know, get used to it. Make sure you stretch. Make sure you're taking the right vitamins. So remember, the times when we go back into training, and usually at the beginning of the year, everybody goes into uh, the new gym and you see everybody at the gym and they're working out and then suddenly that uh, crowd disappears. Sometimes because they get injured and they can't keep it up. The other thing is make sure that you have a goal. So when you're training, increase it by slight, something slight, not something very, um, a large jump, because when you get that goal, the, you've achieved something, it makes you feel like you can achieve the next goal. So these are some of the things you've got to be very careful of. Uh, that's why in uh, the sword experience, we have nothing that is, has heavy weights to it. Uh, most of the time, you know, it is calisthenics, uh, but they are light and they are, they get your heart rate up, but you know, uh, you know, it's not something that's going to actually ruin your joints and your ligaments. You'll also see that in the new training uh, videos that are coming out. We've got the new training videos. Uh, well, they're not new to, per se, but they're new now. The revamped uh, training videos that we have coming out uh, in the next week or two. So uh, you can look at those, look at those on the Sword Experience website. And those have a lot of stretches, a lot of things you need, especially in the first month or two when you go back into training. So check it out. By the way, have you got any other tips?